Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. I would like to welcome you all to today's virtual coffee meet, Agile Minds Coffee Finds and Agile People Ops Coffee Meet. On behalf of Agile People Ops, me, Mariana, and Nathaniel, your host, would like to thank you all for taking out your precious time and joining us today. I would now like to give a high-level overview of our company. Agile People Ops LLC is a USA-based company with a mission to transform traditional human resources to Agile People Operations. We conceptualize the solution framework called Agile People Ops Framework, and we provide role-based certifications and are dedicated to advancing the people of profession through coaching and developing thriving global and regional people ops communities of practices. The three core Agile People Ops global community attributes are connect, collaborate, and co-create. To join the global community group, kindly scan the QR code below or join using the link shared in the chat box. Over the past year, we have seen our members collaborate on webinars, panel events, and amplify each other's voices. We have witnessed the power of collective action as we've worked towards our shared vision and started our people ops community across 11 countries, namely Nigeria, Singapore, Zambia, Germany, Argentina, India, Saudi Arabia, UK, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and the US. I would now like to introduce our India country ambassador, Rohit Bagul. He's a driven, energetic HR professional who has worked in the HR industry for over seven years. He has successfully executed and supported critical HR initiatives to drive cost efficiencies, enhance employee engagement and effectiveness across operations, and develop and implement innovative policies that enhance efficiency and efficacy across operations. His particular experience includes implementing agile methodologies and delivering continuous business transformation projects. We will be sharing a feedback form link in the chat box, which y'all can update later. And I would now like to invite Rohit to give an overview of the coffee meet and to start off the session. Over to you, Rohit. The stage is all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Mariana. And you know, good evening, everyone. And welcome back to our Agile People of Coffee Meet. And I would uh, say about that happy International HR Day. Of course, for today is the HR Day. And uh, uh, yes, <laughs> we are celebrating the day. And uh, I'm thrilled to have you all joining us again on our third session of Coffee Meet. Uh, for, uh, for those who are new to our Coffee Meet, uh, so this is the people of, or we can say the HR professional uh, can come together over a warm breakfast to discuss the latest trends, challenges, uh, and opportunities in bringing agile practices into the worlds of human resource. Okay. And again, today we are uh, uh, dive into deeper into the new challenges and new trend we discuss about. Uh, here, we are, uh, I am the host, not uh, come to hear that with you some the guidance like webinars we have a special session for that he all together communicating each of facing in our day-to-day uh, -day activities okay so so here we share our knowledge with uh, whatever we are facing in our uh, professional journeys, some of some members also facing same issues, and then we try to figure out how can we come to the solution part. Okay, so this is only, uh, uh, you know, it is not a one side communication, the both we are communicating each other. So let's start. Uh, before we are go ahead, there is a Trello board, and uh, you need to go with that, the link you will get to the into the chat box okay and uh, second thing you whatever you have the questions want to discuss uh, for example i'm go and i'm click on the add the card and i put uh, where i uh, hr transformation how to the hr is going to transform how can hr Thank <laughs> you. 
to show it by using Azure Hangout. So you just need to go there, update your list of questions, whatever you have you want to discuss uh, in this session. We all are discussing about that. So once we um, you put down all the questions and then accordingly we can uh, go to the voting part. Okay, so which one is a priority? Which one is similar to where you feel that, okay, that question is uh, similar in about my day-to-day -day activity or it should be aligned with this session. Okay, so then we can put to do the discuss and discussing. Uh, we you need to word them and then we started to discuss about that question. Okay, or issue or the concerns. You just need to go to that, add your card, update your question or whatever the challenges, whatever the concerns you have. Then we all are sit together here and then we started to discussing. Whatever your thoughts, you can update it. Is it fine for? And if you cannot log in or are you facing some issues, then you can put your question into the chat box and, and our team will put there into that Trello board. Okay. So Trello board is a Kanban board and it is a mostly used for uh, in Agile methodology when you are uh, implementing the agility into your day-to-day -day work. The Trello board will prioritize and uh, you know help you to manage your entire task force. Whatever you do, you have the task, it will help. Yes, there is a one question who's coming up. So, those uh, many more is there. I think the question is not uh, completed. How can you forecast in what, what is exactly that you can elaborate the, the question so everyone can understand? Thank you so much for the completing your question. Okay, so anyone? Can we go ahead?
This these two question is uh, okay. I get to know about third question is there. What types can you take to effectively prove and retain the talent in competitive market? Yeah, that is also uh, one of uh, you can say that important questions into the HR for the HR because they are facing so many uh, retention and continuously they are hiring. So yeah, thank you, thank you so much for this such a very good. And Like Can we go ahead? Creating the Mentimeter, Brunel? Yes, 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 yes. We can go ahead. Okay. Just give me a moment. So all three questions are correlated with that. Uh, uh, it, it's a very a good question because of every, every question is aligned with, last two questions is aligned with each other. So you will get the answer to both questions into uh, both answers in both questions because if, if both question is correlate or co-aligned with your, uh, uh, you can say your questions or you can face, we're already facing such a things in our day-to-day -day life. So just you need to go, uh, when Mariana show the Mentimeter, you need to go there and just vote uh, the thing, which question you need to talk, prioritize, just voting. One word for the question. Generative AI. Generative AI is such a growing to be charged. <laughs> so we uh, agile people ops already uh, you know execute uh, already uh, we can say that uh, organize podcast uh, we have a three episode for that especially ai human resource and what is the global world so in that uh, podcast you can go uh, our youtube channel agile people ops so you will get to know about every details uh, about your question uh, because of uh, AI is very uh, growing into the current world. So I request uh, Mariana, can you please share that our Agile People Ops YouTube link also into the, uh, you know, in group chat so people can go and watch the videos, old videos. So I think last year we uh, already planned about the AI and HR Yes. So everything uh, AI is help. It is, it is a uh, if you are going to take a use AI, then it is a very good benefits for you uh, because many times as HR, whenever you face because current world is VUCA world, okay, and in this age we are facing uncertain challenges as HR. We need to ready for uh, our. Uh, day to day activity any any kind of the challenges we can face any time there is no previously we we already know about something is coming okay and then we prepare ourselves but current age uh, unproductive things is standing in front of you and you need to dis you need to take a proper decision on that time so ai will help you to make uh, you know uh, manage all the things 
to properly yes it is help you as a professionally as a personal growth as a personal development and i doubt about the workforce planning because workforce planning is based on your work environment okay and how everything is going to your company and that accordingly we can go through so yes we receive your all the result can be done everyone uh, i hope everyone is uh, give their uh, voting and uh, yes so we are there uh, ai and the hr professionals are uh, you know, it's a big topic we i cannot share all the things into that uh, one hour say that's why we are created two podcasts uh, for two episodes of, on the basis of ai that how ai the positive and negative both part so you can explore our channel and uh, go through that you will get to understand more about uh, the things but yes if you use a good way then you will get a good benefit for that uh, yes Okay, so everyone is done with that. Okay, so I think we received the ratings for the first question, and we can go ahead with the first question. So I'll just uh, here click on that and go to the discussion part. Okay. Yes, so question uh, is, is aligned and with each and every HR professional wherever, wherever they're working, wherever they're in industry, because they are busy with the recruit and retain on training and power them to the each and every topic. So that is why uh, uh, HR professional to ready all those things. So yes, what do you guys think about that? What 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 you are strategies? What is you are strategies about that? Can anyone have anyone using some unique strategies so we can discuss that? Because today I am just I want to understand what is exactly uh, you guys are sharing the about the information or about your experience you're facing into your organization. Yes, anyone? You can unmute yourself and start to discuss, or start to share things, align with your, our topic. Uh, how can as a HR professional or a people team members, we are working into recruitment part and re and and how to the retain talent just unmute yourself and we can discuss things yeah uh, hello yes well um one of my beliefs about recruiting and retain talent in a competitive market is um offering 
a, a healthy position, like a place, a, a good workplace. Um, when you take someone into your cor corporation, it's important that you give them a, a chance to be themselves in that corporation and in that work, in that job they have. I believe that can uh, make people grow a, a sense of um, a, oh. I, I don't remember right. the word a, a sense of uh, loyalty and uh, mm -hmm. part of that uh, of that workplace so nowadays I heard a lot of um, work jumping like Come, going from one place to another, seeking better mm -hmm. conditions, and that's that's because there's no offering from the workplace for growth. I believe, mm -hmm. like if yes, if you offer the the people that's doing a good job um, a better salary mm -hmm. or a better position, they will stay in the in the work with you. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Right. Yes, yes. Yes, Lucas. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, basically, Lucas is going to share about the thing if your culture is, or, or we can say this or about that, uh, your workplace environment is a positive. It is a healthy for learning exposure, and uh, they see the exposure, the growth, they see it as a growth. For example, if I'm joining this company, then what is my growth after the five years and five years? With whatever the thing is that so if he get the chance to grow then he will uh, stay with you and he want to excited to start a new uh, career with you okay so this is the most important part where your culture makes a positive impression in to our candidate then it is help we help you to identify a good candidate and uh, Good, uh, we can say that uh, it, it's it's about the work environment, and people want to feel that okay, I wish to join that organization because they are providing a very good opportunity, growth, empowerment. So thank you, Lucas, all the, the sharing the main important point. So yes, anyone? I would like to uh, understand. I would like to hear from you guys. Anyone is want to share? Monica, then Maria, uh, Chabala. Uh, sorry for the pronunciation, but <laughs> yes. Anyone? Anyone have a more things to talk? Okay, so I just want to ask uh, one thing's question. Lucas is already explained about the healthy workplace environment, or we can say the positive workplace environment. If the person, if how if they want to join those things, okay. So how as a people team member or HR professional, how you guys to uh, create a you know healthy work environment into the organization? So then you can, uh, then people can, you know, started to excited about to join your organization. So how as a HR go and uh, uh, done part, like how you guys grow the work, uh, your workplace environment as a healthy and positive. So do we have, uh, have you guys go through that process? Have you exposure yourself in that particular area? Yes, anyone? You can chat, uh, okay. If you do not want to wish, then you can share your opinion into the chat box. And I can read it that 
because of this is the coffee mate and it is here i'm not the you know expert person i'm just here like you guys and we just communication we each other learning from our part so what what is okay so you are not the hr so i have no experience on that okay so but as an employee or as a people when you are working in other departments so it is talk about you are also aligned with your organization goal okay whatever you are the developer or what it is your role is a business important but yes you feel that okay i wish to join uh that particular uh your my hr should be do this part and uh, should be that uh, level so they can create a work environment or we can say that uh, they they involve into that part yes there is Hello? Anyone? Okay, no problem. So I'm going to share a few things like what we are uh, understand about this uh, recruit and retain in talent. How can we do that? So first, yes, Lucas has already shared about healthy work environment and how can we create. So by using the agility, uh, we can uh, uh, align your people into the process making okay so they create the policy you can involve them to create the policies you can you know uh, so it will help you to create your uh, work environment healthy and positive okay so every time whenever you go to the hiring part uh, recruitment part then we identify such an employee you know, such a candidate who are aligned with our organization vision mission okay because of if they are not aligned with organization vision mission or they, uh, their their personal vision is not aligned with the organization then it should not happen proper way okay that's why many organization many companies is talk about uh, their their last round it's it's a culture cultural part okay culture mostly they focus into the culture they ask the few questions to the uh, employee uh, the candidate so how's how what what exactly you guys all talk about uh, the culture what should the culture is that part what what is the environment you should require uh you need to available to achieve that goal okay because everyone is starting when he's joined he need he are aligned with your organization uh, goal and he started to achieve in that so this is way to start to uh, uh, ask the questions related about uh, okay so this is our culture and what should your impact uh, what sh you should give to us what is exactly the things is working on then he started to express his way so yes uh, lucas is talk about that i'm not a hr so i don't have experience but yes you working with the organization and you started to sharing the things to your hr and then hr is understand because feedback feedback is important in the agility continuous feedback is the most important part and when hr get or the people team will whenever they are receiving a feedback from the their people who are working on the floor and then they started to work on to develop the healthy work environment okay so that is why you need to identify whenever you go to the final round with the candidate whenever you talk with the candidate and then express and talk more about their uh, views or their approaches towards the how can they give there some percentage towards the work environment or culture because empathy there is one more point empowerment okay these all the points are collaborate with that interview last round of interview so you identify what is his and her thinking level of thinking and how can he utilize or you utilize him to develop her, him or her to develop your culture or we can say the organization workplace uh, environment so this is the way you need to hire the people and retain the talent we have multiple questions like you can uh, provide uh, uh, employee referral programs then uh, you can go with their empowerment their 
upgrade their skills you can provide the scope of the learning and development session yeah uh, so these all are a uh, way to retain the yeah salary is is the part but always compensation is not your final stage okay so that time you need to work uh, with the other part like culture if your culture is good then people will you know they don't have any queries about the salary whatever you refer but if you provide them flexible work environment flexible work arrangement you provide the uh, career advancement opportunity in their personal uh, growth okay you uh, you know work on that uh, flexible work uh, arrangements like remote hybrid work models we provide them continuously so it is help you to understand how to retain the employees on that basis you can because can, once you getting the feedbacks from the your people then you can work more betterly on your policies your processes okay so that is why your culture your work environment and your uh, approaches toward the thing it should be important yes i think <laughs> i discuss such more things about that it is a very big issue it is a very big things and uh, but uh, you, we need to take a one more session about that part and we call the expert and he will express all the things into the webinar yes i can arrange that part <laughs> for me and you and everyone will can uh, learn everything from there really. but yes if you hire a culture fit candidate then you need to uh, less work on your retention if you provided the uh, working uh, workspace uh, or we can say the working arrangement okay flexible work arrangements you uh, work on their compensation according to the market research you, you work with one uh, uh, engagement people engagement part as well as you help you to their development uh, and also providing the uh, opportunities for the next career then these are the things people can stay with you they are not think about i quit the organization in that if they are not getting such a things and then they started to decide yes i need to move for the next one next organization or something like some areas so these are the things where we can in initial basis we talk about. yes anyone want to share so thank you <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. Yes, more. Anyone is there? Want to share something or add more things into uh, this? Or we are going to conclude that. Yes, yes. Don't be shy, people. <laughs> oh, if if you not going to unmute yourself, then you can stop, uh, uh, or you can share your through the messages, and we will read it and discuss on that part. Yes, Can we go to the conclude part? Okay, no worries. So yes, uh, today's uh, uh, topic is uh, more more deep and the most big big things for us. But yes, we can uh, uh, discuss more things about like culture fit programs we are going to organize and many more of the things. Okay, but 
yes if you have any uh, things if you uh, align agility to streamline your recruitment process uh, agile will help you to 90 to uh, 80 to 90 percent to streamline your all the recruitment processes which uh, many times we delay to you know close the deal, close the recruitment path but uh, we are facing but when we are implementing the agility then it will help you to make the easy point and you will uh, you know you streamline all the processes you your hiring speed or your recruitment speed will reach to the high level okay you will get the more success and you divide all the projects uh, recruitment projects in, into the spring so it will help you to concentrate and close each and every deal with the effectively and you identify the people who are more culture fit with your organization they are like their personal vision is aligned with your things so agility you can go through the agility join the people agile people ops programs so you will get to know about more how can agile help to the uh, people teams or hr day-to-day -day activity yes thank you so much guys for the joining i would uh, uh, like to call mariana to take a hit with this thank you thank you so much Rohan, for sharing your knowledge with us and thank you everyone who was part of this uh, discussion you will all receive uh, feedback from link in the chat box would request you all to share your feedback and if anybody is interested, they can contact, uh, they can connect with Rohit. His LinkedIn profile is present on the screen. Thank you, Rohit. We have an upcoming Team Coaching Communities of Practices session scheduled on May 22nd. Join Team Coaches Hemani and Avi to explore team conflict management, including strategies for handling disputes, setting healthy work boundaries and adopting a coaching approach to maintain a productive and harmonious team environment. To register for this event, kindly scan the QR code below or join using the link shared in the chat box. So what do we have next? We have our upcoming India Coffee Meet soon. So stay tuned for more details. To join our India community group, kindly scan the QR code below or join using the link shared in the chat box. Additionally, we also have a community platform to collaborate and engage with other passionate individuals. Join using the link shared in the chat box. Thank you all once again for joining us today. We appreciate your time and participation. And we will be coming up with many more uh, sessions for you to learn and grow with us. We will share the recording of this session to all the participants who registered and we will upload the session to our Agile People Ops YouTube channel. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day ahead with lots of gratitude. I'm Mariana, your host. We'll be signing off for today. Thank you, Tim. Thank you so much.